Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. As you can see, I'm in front of a tower PC from 2008 or even before, and I have a problem. So I turn it on. We're going to go to the screen. And as soon as I do that, as soon as I turn it on, you're going to see American Megatrends. You see all the characteristics or many of them. And it's going to show me this message, enter current password. And as you can imagine, I don't have the password. So I cannot access the BIOS. I cannot go to Linux or Windows or any operating system that you may have on this machine, on this PC. So we cannot do anything with software. We have to do something with hardware. So we're going to turn it off, as you can see me doing here. And now we're going to open the computer. We are going to open the case. So we're going to lay it down on the floor. We're going to disconnect the power and we're going to open the case like that. So as you can see, this is the machine. You can tell it's kind of old. <laughs> it's old more, more than 10 years. So uh, I have a lamp, so it's going to help us to see better. So now, so before doing anything, I'm, I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So this brand is called PC Chips, the one that made the motherboards. You can see the fan for the processor, you can see the RAM and all that. So on this model, you have to look for the CMOS battery, as you can see is over here. I'm going to put a picture over there. So we are looking for three pins, for a jumper, I should say, that is uh, connected on two pins, as you can see over here. There are three pins in total. We are using two, and I'm going to remove the jumper as you can see over here. So this is how it looks, very small. And what we have to do is, is put the jumper on the other two pins. So uh, as mentioned, there are three, you can see them there. Uh, originally, it was the jumper was on pin number one and two, so we have to put the jumper on pins two and three, okay? So we have to leave it there for a few seconds and then put it back. But I'm going to show you something over here. So I'm going to connect the back, the power to the PC, as you can see me doing over here. Now I'm going to try to turn it on. So let's go to the power button. I'm going to press it and nothing happens. So it's not working. So I'm going to try again. Nothing happens. So what is going on is that pin two and three lock the computer. So it doesn't receive power. It's blocked. So we cannot, uh, we cannot turn on the machine. So it's a security feature that this kind of devices have. So may, new machines, some of them have it, but not all of them. Okay. So now we are going to put back the, the jumper on pin one and two. Now we are going to do exactly the same. As you can see, it's, it's placed on pin one and two as it was originally. So we're going to connect back the power. Uh, almost the lamp <laughs> fell over. So now we're going to turn it on. As you can see, it's working now. We can see the lights. And if this is helping you, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you. Thank you very much. So now we see the same screen, American Megatrends. And now we're going to see this new message. So at the bottom, it says CMOS battery low, CMOS date not set. So we don't really care about that much. We're going to press F1 on the keyboard. And now we're, we're in the BIOS. So the setting that was configured is BIOS security features. So change supervisor password. So that's what was configured. That's why we, 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 it had the password at the beginning. So we press escape because we didn't do any changes and the machine is going to reboot. So now uh, we see the same screen one more time. And now it should proceed directly to the operating system. So as you can see here, Windows XP, that really brings back memories. And now the video is sped up in this part, so you don't have to wait all the real time because it took some time to load. This is an old hard drive. So after a few seconds of this, we can see the welcome screen for the operating system and we're back in business so we can see Windows, right? So that's how you reset the BIOS password on this model. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.